know. Now you know. Uh, your next comic. I love this dude. Uh, he's a regular all over the shows around town. You can see him perform at the Clash of the Comics at the Funny Bone. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Horsford. Cormac's two years. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking exciting. <laughs> um, man, I'm excited, man. This is this is good. I'm I'm happy for Jesse and Richmond comedy. I'm gonna start with the jokes though. Um, so I was thinking the other day, right? Like uh, Jamestown was founded in what 1608, 1609. Right, somewhere around there. Um, the first slaves were brought to America in 1619, give or take a few years. Um, so it took white people about 10, 11 years to be like, oh man, this is, this is some hard work. We should probably get somebody else to do this. You know, like, <laughs> took white people 10 years to be like, Man, this I really don't want to do this, man. Someone <laughs> we should get we should get somebody else to do this, man. Like this is this is not the work for us. Like you ever been at work, like, man, this dude is not paying me enough for this shit. That's how white people felt about America. Like white people were in the fields like, you mean we gotta do this work for how long? All day? Man, that's like all day. I'm not trying to be doing that. Like you. So white. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is like, slavery was born out of white laziness. Essentially, is what I'm saying. And um, like you, you, you had like in, in the beginning, you had like a few white people in the in the, in the fields, and they were like, seems to be a, a lot of dirt under my nails, and I am really sweating a lot, and I do not like it. <laughs> we should get someone else to do this. And then the, and the second white guy comes up, and he's like, yeah, you're right. We should get someone else to do it. But who's going to want to do all our work? And the first white guy looks at him, and he's like, what do you mean, want? <laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Who, who are we going to pay to do all, do all our work for us? It's like, what do you mean, pay? <laughs> Who ever heard of a bunch of Europeans working in a field all day? And that's ridiculous. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a bunch of not us to do it. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that sounds. A bunch of not us doing all of our work. But a bunch of not us in the field doing all of our work? What if, what if someone calls something like that? Oh. My friend, we call it America. <laughs> and here we are today. <laughs> Damn, I think that joke is funny. <laughs> white people just get, oh, oh, what is he talking about? This is, this is crazy. You can laugh at that joke. The joke's funny, I think. Um, but I'm gonna do another joke. Uh, so I was hanging out with a, with a, with a, uh, I was texting a girlfriend of mine the other day, man. I was like trying to be cool while I'm texting her. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were talking about like music or something. And, um, I was like, like, uh, oh yeah, baby. Don't even worry. It's all my niggas in the rap game. That's what I meant to say. It's a pretty cool statement. You know what I'm saying? She knows I have friends. I listen to music. Pretty cool dude. You know what I'm saying? But what I actually texted her was, oh yeah, baby. Don't even worry. All my niggas in the rape game. <laughs> what a mistake. <laughs> that is quite the change of connotation with that one letter. It's only a one letter difference, but what a difference that one letter makes. You know what I'm saying? I went from on top of the world being cool to being a rapist, which is the opposite of cool. And uh, that's the end of my set. <laughs> I'm gonna get on out of here. Make some noise for your host. Josh Horsford, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night, kids. Ride safe. I'll let Jazz Pataz. Okay. Okay, alright. And we're
we're off. All right, awesome. All right, your next comic. I love this dude. Uh, he runs the he runs the show over at Wabi Sabi over in Petersburg. One of the best shows you could ever go to. So if you're ever in Petersburg, I believe it's uh, the first and third Fridays of the month. Uh, go check it out. It's an awesome show. Great food, great comics, great people. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very funny Jason Klingman. Jesse Jarvis! <laughs> As you said, my name is Jason Klingman. Good to be here. Uh, I'll tell you about myself. Uh, some of my teeth are white, some are yellow, some are dark. They're all crooked. Uh, my mouth is like Richmond City Council, basically. That joke is for you, Silver. <laughs> oh man, got uh, really drunk last night. And I got so drunk, you can't remember what happened the night before. Like, I woke up this morning wondering what happened. I, I was like, what did I do? What did I, what did I drink? And my head was hurting. And it hurts a little bit, you drank beer. Hurts more, you drank liquor. Hurts real bad, you drank red wine. If your nose hurts, you did cocaine. And if your ass hurts, you didn't pay for it. So it's all good. <laughs> By the last joke, you might not think that I believe in Jesus. But I am, in fact, a fan of Jesus. Jesus sucks. I know. Well, I'm not a fan in real life, just on Facebook. And when I was clicking like on Facebook, I was thinking, what would Jesus' status updates be? Like, uh, it would be www. This is going swimmingly. All right. So I'm thinking to myself, what would Jesus' status updates be on Facebook, you know? It'd be like him at a party, like, man, this party's lame. I'm going to turn my Aquafina into wine. <laughs> Or be like, man, today sucked. The guy at the hardware store really jewed me on some wood. <laughs> oh, man. NBA just started. Anybody happy about Woo! that? Any gamblers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One thing about basketball, when I'm watching it and I'm just like listening to it, the sports cash, it sounds like they're talking about sex. And they, I don't know why like I put sex and basketball together. Maybe because I fucked a mascot a long time ago. It's possible. But when I'm watching the games, if you just listen to it, it's not even like talking about porn. Follow me, all right? It's like, penetrates the middle, goes down low, finds the seam at the charity stripe, wisely pulls it out. <laughs> I like the NBA. Uh, what I don't like is some of the team names don't make any damn sense, all right? If you think about it, like the Los Angeles Lakers, as you said, there's no fucking lakes in L.A., alright? Y'all ever been there? It's just prostitutes and crack. That's it. There's nothing else there, alright? The Utah Jazz? There's no jazz in Utah, alright? It's just easy listening. Sex with multiple wives. Ask Romney. He knows. So if they would, like, be honest with the team names, and, like, it would probably the attendance would go up, you know, if, like, if they were the real names, like the L.A. Crack Corps versus Utah Polygamists. Like, that's a game I would watch. I'll watch all those games. Had a nice drive up here on 95 when I was driving up here. A, a minivan flew by me. License plate said TCHN KDS. And I'm thinking, how sweet. That must be a teacher. That must mean teaching kids, right? And then the sick, demented part of my brain was thinking, dude, that can mean touching kids. And that's not okay, all right? So be honest with your license plates, too, you know? If you're a little overweight, your license plates say cankles, you know? <laughs> If you're a dumbass, your license plate should say dumbass. And if you're my girlfriend, your license plate should say unsatisfied. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't even have a girlfriend. We broke up about two weeks ago. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, all right. And me and my girlfriend broke up about two weeks ago. We had to break up, though, because we were different zodiac signs. That never works out, you know? Because uh, I'm an Aquarius, and she was a whore. So, I'm Jason Klingman, two years of McCormick's. Awesome. Jason Klingman, everybody! God damn, I never could see that guy enough. Yes! Alright, you know what? Your next comic, for the love of God, this guy came from D.C. to make you fuckers laugh. So, I want a round of applause, starting from this end. Do it, do it, do it. I want to go around. I want to go around. All the way, like, fucking all the way around. I'm not fucking kidding. God damn it! Give it up for Jesse Thomas! Uh, your next comic, guys. This guy is one of the funniest guys doing it in the game. Uh, he was just featured in Style Weekly. Uh, dude, god damn it, this guy's funny. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kenny Wingle.
How about a big, big round of applause for Jesse Jarvis and two years at McCormick's, you guys. All right, that's big, big, big enough. How about you walk out on a two-year anniversary show? How fucked up is that? Y'all hear about this new law they passed in Colorado? Yeah, yeah it's dope. People in Colorado showed us uh, in order to get something passed, it takes a joint effort. <laughs> now more than ever, people in Colorado speak bluntly. I'm gonna get that damn bell at some point. In Denver, all public transportation will now be referred to as the cannabis. What? You should have thought of that? I know. See, if we were in Colorado and you had a problem with me, we could hash it out. Good shit. I had an interesting day today. I saw this guy, uh, I was pumping my gas and I saw this guy on a payphone and he was, he must have been cussing his girl out or something. He was on a payphone, which I thought was weird because I haven't seen a payphone in a long time. But this guy was spending a lot of money and just kept inserting quarter after quarter to bitch his girl out. He was just like... Click, click. It was quarters in. Bitch, I know you're lying. I know you're lying. You said you were, you were with your kids, but you were out with Bobby. I know you... Hello? Clank, clank. All right, stop fucking hanging up on me. I know you're lying. I know you. Hello. <laughs> clank, clank. Why are you playing? Why are you keep? Why are you keep hanging up on me? Stop. Just look. Hello. <laughs> clank, clank. That's a dollar fifty. I'm going till nine dollars and fifty cents. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> but you just said. Uh, Bitch, all right, look, just listen. Look, I'd be able to give you my child support if you just stop hanging up on me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> clink, clink. All right, look, I'm sorry, all right? All right, look, please, please, please don't hang up on me. Please, this is my last 50 cent. Please don't hang up on me. All I'm trying to say is, you were lying. <laughs> Hello? A couple of minutes later, he was on the phone. You have a collect call from bitch. I know you lying. <laughs> Fellas, uh, there's a lot of guys here. I don't see a whole lot of girls here, so let's talk about this. Uh, I have a the condom moment. Let's just title this the condom moment because. It's weird, isn't it, guys? That moment where you have to put on a condom? No, it's not? You guys are all raw-dogging it out here and shit? The condom moment is weird, and girls can't understand that, because it's like, all right, you gotta... You gotta find the condom, all right, which is probably in your pants. That's off the bed somewhere. And you can't be like, real obvious with your condom because then the girl thinks oh he thought he was gonna get it so I ain't gonna get it to him. <laughs> right so you gotta try to be slick and prepared at the same time it's tough right so it's like all right well, I gotta get the condom and shit and then the model thing is like when I'm going to get the condom well now I'm focused on all right I gotta get the condom I gotta make sure that I rip it right so I open it right away so there's no struggle then I gotta get it on, and I hope my shit doesn't go soft in the meantime. So there's like a lot of anxiety. Put the condom on. So I think I'm like, well, how can we solve this problem? Which came up with, you should be able to just, like, when you rip a condom, it should boost your shit back up. You know what I mean? Like you rip the condom open and it's like, 
girl's voice is like, oh, get in my wet pussy. And I'm like, all right, we're back at it. Whoosh. Fuck the shit out of me. All right, no problem. All right, then. That's enough. Peace out. Wingle, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. Yes. Uh, your next comic, uh, this is his first time here at McCormick, so ladies and gentlemen, make him feel welcome. Give it up for Chris McCollum. Thank you. 